So this evening, I wanted to do a yoga nidra practice on sleep and, and relaxation. So it sounds like from where everybody's coming from, this is a good topic to do tonight. And I think um, the approaching yoga nidra from the angle of wanting to meet yourself deeply and do the spiritual inquiry that is um, so potent in meditation is such a beautiful desire. And it's also nice to kind of harness the, the potency of the practice simply for relaxation and for rest and for sleep. And so that we're kind of taking off the table that we're going to do necessarily um, meditative inquiry in this practice. And that what we're inviting into our experience is uh, relaxation at a body level, at an emotional level, mental level, uh, spiritual level, where there's a letting go. So I guess the inquiry always happens in one way or the other. Um, and then also the invitation for this practice, and some people use yoga nidra only for this, and that's not what we're always doing here. I mean, typically in these classes, we're covering different kinds of themes each time. And also it can be used just for sleep and both for preparing for sleep. And then also for, um, when you wake up in the night and want to be able to go back to sleep. So doing a yoga nidra practice for sleep doesn't mean that you actually need to fall asleep during the practice. You're simply preparing your body and mind in a way to rest and relax in a more in a more deep way. So it's nice to take the agenda out of even relaxation and sleep when you approach that with yoga nidra. And then there you are in the fresh inquiry, doing the practice, getting what you exactly get. And um, as some of us are saying, you know, you could have a mixture of something like overstimulation and tiredness. And you can use the practice of, over, of yoga nidra to begin to invite body and mind and emotional experience to begin to relax. We don't do this with a strong agenda because when you try to make yourself relax, it usually backfires. But when you understand that your intention is to allow the body to naturally relax as it would if the mind were truly rested, then you're inviting the body back into a more natural state. And so I think if we're all willing to do that kind of a practice this evening, it's going to be more geared towards rest and relaxation and, and sleep. And so when I'm guiding the practice, often what I'll do is ask that the exhalation is extended kind of throughout the practice as we're doing different body sensing. And I'll probably not do that with this so that there's really little direction happening on your part. So all you need to do is just listen to the guidance. And if I name, you know, sense your right shoulder, maybe there's a sense of heaviness or warmth. I may suggest certain sensations that may be present. So you may invite, you may begin to invite heaviness or warmth into your right shoulder, into your right elbow, your entire right arm. It's interesting when you suggest things to yourself or when I will suggest things to you and then you in turn suggest them to yourself, you're inviting the body to inhabit a form of relaxation that's uh, not, it's, 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 it's a natural state but it's not kind of the natural frame of mind that we're all in that our body kind of goes along with, which is much more that uh, a tense body or some level of holding that's here because of we have to show up in two minutes for a Zoom call, whatever it is <laughs> that each of us are doing or show up for a housemate that's there or whatever it is, there's kind of a holding. And this practice is going to invite us to uh, release and relax the holding and see what happens. So if you notice that you're overly trying to relax, that's something to welcome in meditation. It's you're, you're, you're doing the actually, you can't get away from inquiry, can you? <laughs> so you're really doing the same thing where you're saying, Oh, there's the mind. I have a strong agenda and I'm trying to make this thing happen. That's actually 
imposing a state on myself that isn't here. When if I were to actually simply be with the tension, dive in and explore the tension at a subtle level, it may spontaneously release on its own. And in this practice, I may give a little bit of extra guidance around allowing the body to relax or feel heavy or not control the breath so much, which will be different from from uh, some of the other yoga nidra practices that I do here. So we'll get into it and we'll we'll see what happens. Are there any questions or reflections before we get into uh, the practice? Okay, great. So um, thanks to each of you for being here. And then if you would like to, feel free to um, have your your videos off. You can mute yourself. You can leave your video on if you'd prefer. Um, whatever feels most comfortable for you in that regard. And uh, then <clears throat> I'll just begin the practice. So feel free to settle in a little bit and get comfortable. So This may mean that you've you've now plopped yourself onto the floor or a couch or a bed and you know, just get a pillow if it helps or put a bolster underneath your knees. You want to feel like you can really go into a deep state of relaxation in this practice. So as you settle in, maybe marking inwardly that you're making a turn from your day. So you're intentionally allowing whatever has come before to begin to fade into the background, even if there are still mental impressions, emotional impressions, or tensions held, you, that you're making a turn toward this practice for relaxation, for rest, for sleep, even if it's simply to prepare the body and mind for sleep, doesn't mean you, you need to fall asleep. There's no agenda for you to fall asleep during this meditation. So begin by noticing the flow of the breath in and the flow of the breath out. Just noticing the quality of the breath. Can you do so with a gentle attention. Perhaps naming inwardly that you're setting time aside in this moment to turn toward your experience, to open to a deeper state of relaxation in your mi mind and your body. You allow all of the senses to open just as they're functioning naturally. So sight, notice any shadows or light across the eyelids if your eyes are closed. A sense of touch where your body meets the surface that's supporting you. Sense of taste. sense of smell, and then sounds, feeling sounds as if they're coming to you, sound of my voice, the sound of your own breathing in and out, any sounds in the room. So 
so that you're in a sense taking your hands off the steering wheel, just allowing senses to function naturally, no need to grasp or control. Breath coming and going. And notice as well any emotional tones from the day. There may have been moments of stress, moments of connection, movements of your own emotional life that have come and gone today. So allow that to kind of arise in your mind's eye and just notice what you experience as you welcome your emotional state in this moment. The kindness and a gentleness toward your experience. You feel into a background quality of awareness that's rested deeply already. And can you join with that, maybe even as you notice the breath flowing in and out, joining with this rested quality of awareness that's including your emotional experience from today. Take a moment and notice what is present in your mental state. Is your mind busy or frazzled or scattered or calm? Or perhaps you can't even name what the state is. That's okay too. Just welcoming whatever's present in your mental state just as a sort of leftover impressions from whatever's come before now. Do you welcome that to be just as it is from this place of arrested awareness, rested back, intimate with what's here, but not lost in it? So the senses are open, we've welcomed breath, body, emotions, the mind state. Perhaps set an intention for the practice, whether that is to allow the body and mind to rest deeply or whether that is to prepare yourself for sleep or something else entirely, name inwardly whatever it is that's your intention for this practice. It may be to practice in order to have a deep, thorough night's rest. It could be anything at all that comes to you in this moment. So turn toward your intention, naming it inwardly. And then let that too fade into the background as we begin the practice. Notice wherever your hands are, the palms of your hands, perhaps rested by your sides or on your belly, whatever's, wherever your hands are, simply bring attention to the palms of the hands, sensing perhaps a warmth or a tingly aliveness 
making contact with your breath as it flows in and out as you simultaneously sense the palms of both hands. So continue to have your attention on the palms of both hands and also sense your belly. Notice is there a warmth some kind of an aliveness of sensation in your belly. So sensing palms of your hands, warm belly. And then sense your forehead, a cool forehead. Those three things simultaneously as you breathe in and out. Warm hands, warm belly, cool forehead. Allowing yourself to follow along with the practice, throwing out anything that doesn't resonate with you. And again, naming that intention inwardly. We'll do a body scan. As I name a body part, you can notice if there is any tension that you're holding there. And there's this unique thing that happens in the practice where you move, when you move your attention toward a holding or a contraction or a tension in the body, and you gently place that loving awareness on the tension, it may just begin to spontaneously kind of open or release. So we'll begin with the jaw sensing any tension or contraction or maybe like a holding from the day from speaking a lot? Can you invite the jaw to relax and release? Inviting now all of the little miniature muscles in the face to release. So it's like letting go of a holding, cheeks, nose and your throat, forehead. Just allowing your face to relax. Sensing both ears. Sensing your jaw, your tongue, the back of your tongue. Just relaxing tension. Breath coming and going through the nose or the mouth. Sensing both eyes, any tension or holding behind your eyes. Bringing that kind, gentle awareness to any contraction, inviting it to release and relax. Sensing now your whole head, your face, the back of your head, the back of your neck. Is there any remaining, remaining place of tension or contraction, for instance, in the back of your neck and the small muscles that you could simply turn toward and allow to release? If it's helpful, staying in touch with the breath as it flows in and flows out. No need to control it but joining with it, with your attention, the gentle flow of the breath in and out. As we move through the practice, there may be different emotions or memories, images that arise. Those are absolutely welcome to be here as visitors. So if an emotion arises, simply turn toward, meet, welcome, and allow it. 
And then come back to this practice, feeling into a rested awareness that's aware of what's arising. Giving yourself a break from your thinking mind from the need to attend to whatever it is that arises in your mind and permission to return back to this rested, open body and mind. Sensing now the left arm, beginning with the left shoulder. Bring attention to the left shoulder. Notice if there's any warmth, maybe inviting a quality of heaviness into left shoulder. Upper left arm, left elbow, forearm, and the palm of the left hand. Can you feel the entire left arm and hand heavy, relaxed? Tuning in with the gentle flow of breath in, flow of breath out. Bringing attention now to the right shoulder. Notice, is there any warmth present? Inviting in a sense of heaviness. Feeling the right shoulder, the right upper arm, elbow, right forearm, and the palm of the right hand. Inviting in a sense of warmth of heaviness in the entire right arm and hand. No more holding, just releasing. As you breathe in and out, sensing right arm, right hand. Now sense both at the same time, both the left arm and hand and the right arm and hand. Breathing in and out, feeling your arms heavy and relaxed, warmth in the palms of your hands. You may feel like a tingly aliveness or any other sensation, just notice what you experience. And if a thought arises, not refusing it, just allowing it to pass right through and returning your attention to a quality of rested awareness. Inviting this kind of down regulation of the nervous system as we go body part by body part through the whole body. Allowing the gift of your attention to remain on the breath. Now bringing attention to the whole torso, so the upper and lower back, chest and belly. Notice if you experience any warmth, tingling aliveness, perhaps in the belly, the upper back. Can you allow your whole torso to feel heavy and relaxed? No need to hold on in the solar plexus, in the belly, the chest, sides. Just inviting all those muscles to open, release.
feeling the gentleness of the breath as it comes and goes. Perhaps tuning in to what it feels like, this rested quality of awareness. Where there's no need to clench or hold or tighten around anything. It's, it's an openness, a spaciousness. A relaxation toward what is tuning in to whatever felt sense that brings up for you this quality of awareness that's deeply rested let's sense the left leg so bringing attention to the left hip Noticing any warmth, perhaps, bringing attention to the left thigh, knee. Left calf, shin. The whole left foot, can you allow your left leg and foot to feel warm, heavy, relaxed? You may notice the body begins to shift into states of deeper rest and relaxation. Bringing attention now to the right hip. Perhaps there's a warmth. Sensing the right thigh, right knee, right shin and calf, and the whole right foot. Inviting these qualities of warmth, uh, releasing tension like a heaviness or relaxation where there's not a holding needed in the whole right leg and foot. Breath coming and going. It's as if the body is just being breathed. Sensing now both together, both legs, both feet. Heavy and relaxed. You may feel a spacious quality or like a tingling aliveness, or it may even be hard to locate in space and time the legs. So in the practice we're orienting attention, inviting the sense of heaviness, of release, relaxation, the legs and feet. And as we do that, it may open out into a more spacious, vibratory aliveness, or it may feel solid, heavy, relaxed. There's no correct way this needs to look.
now inviting the whole body into this rested awareness. So allowing it to be just as it is, but feeling perhaps a warmth in the belly and the palms of the hands, perhaps a cool forehead, and then heavy limbs, heavy torso, relaxed mind and body. Perhaps giving permission to the body to open and relax. Tuning in again to this background quality of awareness that's awake to itself, yet deeply rested. There, where there's no quality of holding, contraction, or tension. It's like an open field of aliveness. It's deeply rested within itself. So we're joining with that, Just doing the inquiry in the meditation and joining with that quality of deep rest all the way through the body, even the mind state, the emotional state. seems more just like the waves on this deep ocean. You may even feel kind of an oceanic presence. Again, moments where the mind comes in, memories or images, some emotion, receiving whatever's here with that deep rest. It's like whatever arises is just cushioned by the rest that you experience in your body. It's a sense of this too is here. And there's a sense of it's okay as it is. Kind of like a non-interference with what is. As you breathe in and out, allowing the body in any particular location throughout it to begin to let go in an even deeper way, whatever that is for you, it's just an invitation. Your attention may move gently through the body, finding spots of contraction or confusion, whatever's there in the Invitation is to turn towards it, invite this rest right in the middle of the contraction, right in the middle of the confusion or whatever it is that's here. It's like letting go of figuring it out, letting go of control.
feeling how in this inquiry of letting go, like you're preparing your mind and body for sleep. Sensing the whole backside of your body as it rests into the surface that supports you. There may be a long, gentle exhalation as you sense the whole backside of your body. Perhaps feeling qualities of ease, of ground, of safety. So you breathe in and out, feeling the whole backside of your body. may begin to experience qualities of real spaciousness and clarity. Deep ease or deep rest. Preparing the mind for sleep, allowing any of that, those thoughts and impressions to really, truly fade far into the background. Even if there is something stressful present in your life or something you're noodling on, can you feel a little bit deeper kind of beneath that to this level of openness and restedness, heaviness and relaxation, the whole backside of your body, just allowing yourself to release into the surface that supports you And sensing the palms of the hands and a warmth, perhaps, warm belly, and cool forehead. This intention for a perhaps deep, restful sleep or to prepare the mind and body for sleep, or simply to inhabit this deeper level of rest and relaxation at all levels. Perhaps the thought comes up is this 
really okay or I should be doing something and can you perhaps let that go and relax even more into the practice you may begin to feel more and more of a quality of spacious openness you may feel like floating or like this oceanic presence the depth that is just underneath the waves that are coming and going. could have different elements in your experience such as like a, a radiant blackness or darkness or a luminosity that feels like light perhaps it's a felt sense that is hard to describe no need to name it but attune more and more to that quality of this awareness, that deep rest, clear, awake to itself, and allows body and mind to rest deeply, going into states of sleep or deep relaxation. Feeling perhaps the body held by the surface, supporting you, held by the space around the body. Held in connection with others, practicing together. Sustained by the breath coming and going. Is there anything else here in this moment that could be released? Whether the body is asleep or not, what does it feel like to tune into this deep rest?
you allow it to just be absorbed even at the tiniest level, cellular level in the body. Noticing again the intention for the practice. How is it now in this moment? We'll close the practice here. So if you'd like to continue to drift right into sleep, feel free. Thanks for practicing this meditation.